What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here. If you're looking for something fun to do solo or with the family, look no further than the oh so popular Torrance batting cages. Kevin Tyler, the owner of Torrance batting cages. Here we are with masks six feet apart, but the coronavirus pandemic is not keeping you out of business. It isn't at this time. Yeah, we are open for business. As you can see, we are outdoors with plenty of space for people to come in and get their swings. We have everything marked out for social distancing. We are open for business to take advantage of our batting cages and our uh, training fields as well. We've been partnering with the city of Torrance since about 2008 and we came in and did a full remodel of the facility. Just really started to continue our relationship with the community that we've already established from our other location in Alpine Village from the late 70s. So Kevin, take me back to what, early spring when COVID shut businesses down. Right, so it was like March 11th or 12th that all youth sports were canceled in LA County. And so really at that point, you know, business just came to a halt. So we shut the facility down. We resurfaced the whole entire facility. We put a whole new netting system in. The whole batting cage is all brand new netting. We sanded down our coin boxes, put in a new paint on our benches. We rebuilt all our soccer goals, repainted all those, restriped our fields. So we were thinking, hey, it's gonna be super short term and then we're gonna be back open again, but it ended up being about eight weeks. And so put a lot of money and a lot of time into it, but we're back in business, ready to go again. I guess the silver lining of the whole thing is it gave you the much needed time you needed to redo the place. For sure, I mean, we never would have had that much time, although we never would have wanted that much time. No, no. <laughs> right, but yeah, we, we definitely took full advantage of that. And you know, once again, the, the city trusts us and, and knows that we are a good partner and we maintain the facility, you know, with just excellent standards. So tell me what people can look forward to when they come to Torrance Batting Cages, COVID stuff. Really, we're operating the same way. Well, there is a little bit of difference. You're going to come in wearing a mask and you're going to maintain social distancing like everywhere. So the new normal with that, but we're still operating the same way. You can call in and make a reservation to guarantee you have a cage, you know, waiting for you when you show up but you can also come in and use tokens and operate on a first come first serve basis. You just have to check the crowd. Maybe it's a good idea to call ahead of time if you're not gonna make a reservation, just to see what the reservations are like. So we have eight cages, so there's a maximum of eight reservations that we could make. And then we do have two side tunnels that people can rent as well. So definitely we're trying to keep the crowd down. But you can borrow a bat and a helmet. The equipment's sanitized before you use it, and it's sanitized once it's being used and returned. The balls are never touched, so they are automatically picked up by the retrieval machine fed to the pitching machine, thrown to you, you hit it with a bat, goes back into the retrieval system. So it's one constant cycle where no one touches them. When people come here, how does it work? You come through the door and we have signage on our front gate telling you you need face mask required. Got to follow Appendix V, all the county guidelines to be operating safely in this environment. You have to check into our office on the outside. We have a plexiglass shield up for that. And then they would check in either by a reservation or say, hey, we just want to come in and use some tokens. Typically people call in and reserve a certain cage, whether they want to speed 35 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour, slow pitch or a fast pitch softball machine. And so once they check in, then we get them all set up. And really the, the customers are allowed to remove their masks once they're in the cage hitting by themselves. Once they exit the cage, they can put the mask back on again. Now, people aren't just coming here to get their sport on. You guys are known as one of the greatest repair shops in the country and in the world. We do a lot of baseball glove repairs here. We do. We have stuff that comes in literally all over the United States every day. We have actually sent them uh, internationally to Guam and Israel and Australia, Canada. Really cool part of the business is getting to take somebody's memories and a glove that they've had for so many years, either maybe from a grandpa or, you know, generations, and we get to restore that and send it back to them. We initially sold baseball repair kits where they could buy a lace, maybe to fix one little piece of their glove. And then they would like, hey, we don't know how to do this. Can you fix it? And we're sure we know how to do it. And so then that just grew from there. It just kind of snowballed into us completely taking gloves apart and buying hides of leather and cutting brand new interiors and sewing them together. So, you know, it's a definitely a natural fit together with the baseball community already coming in. And then it just kind of grew from there. You're servicing high school kids, college kids, 
pro ball? So we do, yeah. We service from just after T-ballers all the way through, you know, some pro ballers for sure. And everybody in between, you know, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and people just coming through the park and just wanting to come in and get some exercise and hit some balls and celebrate the Dodgers winning the World Series. So now that you're back with some new rules, how's business? Business is good. You know, it was, it was slow for a while. It's not pre-COVID business by any means, but people are starting to come out. People are feeling safe. And I think we're, you know, eventually going to get there. But in the meantime, we're just trying to provide an opportunity to people to come out and get some exercise because people do need to exercise and people do need to get outdoors so we're happy to be facilitating that well i'm gonna get some exercise and i heard you say slow pitch softball i'm all about that the slower the better there we let's go do it. let's do it okay leslie here we go now's your big opportunity there's your bat there's your token come on in you're gonna take your token and you're gonna choose softball. Once you put your token in, it's gonna throw you 10 pitches and then it'll shut off. 